Good morning, this is Chris with CodeChris.com. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let's get into it. If you're new to development, you probably heard of the word framework or CMS, content management system. These words should sound familiar. Like there's something that you've heard of, right? You've heard of things like React, um, Vue, WordPress, and Craft. I want to ask you a question straight out flat out and I want you to give me the honest answer. I know how to build a website in HTML, CSS and JS. Can I just can I just use just that? And it's a very it's a very fair question. Hit me with it. Just give it to me straight. Here's here's kind of the, the thing. Yes, you can build a website with just those things, but the reality is you will not. You will be using one of these two things 99.9% .9 of the time. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! There's really no reason not to. So the reason why, you have to kind of go back in time and think about how the web was originally done. You've got mail. Now, back in the day, the web was just hard static pages, right? You just write in the code directly into there. Things got more complex, people needed to do more things. And so now we're at a point where people want to constantly update the website, people want to constantly make changes and tweaks, etc. And they don't want to have to keep calling their developer to do so. All right, let's run a test. Just type in xy dot uh, violator slash 467F46. That's where the content management system comes in. Things like WordPress and there's others and Craft is a new popular one if you really want to get super custom or whatever. These content management systems are just designed in a way that they abstract away the code to a, um, to a GUI interface where the user can input some information and that can dynamically change. It's so easy to use. A caveman could do it. What? <laughs> oh, no. I, not cool. I did not no. know you were there. I a framework is very similar in that sense, except it's more code driven. And it's more so if you want to just reuse the same parts over and over or to help keep your code clean and organized because things can get very complex very fast when you're trying to do a lot of different stuff. And the reality is if you're new to development, you don't have to know um, all the content management systems. You don't have to know how all of them are set up. You don't even have to know all the frameworks, anything like that. You do need to know your HTML, your CSS, and your JS. And what's going to happen is when you get a job or when you find a practical use for it, you're going to jump onto whatever they are using and whatever they have. Now, in regards to CMS, for me, for example, I had never touched a day of WordPress and I got a job and I learned WordPress on the job. Um, I know some people who have had to learn, um, you know, React on the job. Now, of course, there's big perks and pluses. If you already know these systems, then you already have a, a better leg up. But that is up to you to choose how you want to go ahead and make that approach. I'm not here to debate which is better or which framework you should be choosing or anything like that. Right now, what I'm here to do is just explain the purpose of what they are. And more importantly, do you even need to know them? That as we move further and further into the future, you are going to be needing to adapt these more often. But the thing is, as long as you understand the underlying belly of the beast, right? The HTML, the CSS, the JS. You can adapt to anything. And these frameworks and these CMSs and the whatever, they're just something that goes on top of what you currently have built. At the end of the day, what's happening is your browser is simply reading the HTML document, which is telling you how to style it because of the CSS, and it's also telling it what's gonna be moving and how or whatever because of the JavaScript. So at the end of the day, that's what everything really comes down to. It com gets compiled down to that. It doesn't matter about the SAS or how you're using Webpack or Babel or what framework or what, you know, at the end of the day, that's what the browser is receiving. 
So if you know and understand how that is set up, you can start to slowly get more and more abstracted away from it. Ah. Never seen this before. Ah. Ah. My face, my beautiful face. Oh. What is going on? We're abstracting. And it will compile down into that, okay? You should be trying to just learn the base part and the other stuff can start to come on top of it. Okay? Anyways, those are just my thoughts. I thought that would be helpful. Back at the beginning, I was like, what's the purpose of the two? And should I do one over the other? This is Chris with CodeChris.com. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Until later. Bye-bye.